In this video, you'll learn how to hang a gate for a fence, a barn, a barn window, a shed window, a shed door, or any similar application. Let's get started. I've already hung this gate. They each weigh about 80 to 100 pounds and they're long, nine feet long. I will show you how I hung this gate by hanging this gate over here. And I have not hung this gate yet. It's just sitting in there. First thing I did was put a block in down there for the gate to sit on. And on the other end, I just shimmed it up there so that the top of those two gates are level. And I put a level on there. And then I just temporarily secured the gate in there with that little block so it'll stay in place. Now the first thing I do, once I set this in place, I put a level on here. And I want this end to be just a little higher than this end because of the weight and length of this gate. It's going to sag just a little bit. These are decent hinges. But I want this end to be just a little bit higher than this end so that when it settles, because there is a little movement in the hinges where the pins are and getting the screws set. So I want it just a little high. So I put a level on it and it's just a little high on this side. As you can see, it's just a little bit high on this side. And I like that where it's set there. There's level right there. Then it's real simple. Just take the hinges and I center the pin right in between the gate and the post or wall that it's going to sit in. And I temporarily screwed it in with two and a half inch deck screws. And then I'm going to put ledger lock screws in. So now we'll temporarily set the lower hinge. And I got these hinges at Harbor Freight for a little over three dollars and they work great. I want to line the hinge up with the existing hinge so I just took a level and put a mark on there and that'll be the top of the hinge. And it's just a matter of setting it in there, like I said, with the hinge centered. Just put a little mark for a hole. That looks great. Here's the screws that I used. Two and a half inch timber lock, six inch timber lock, and then just a nut and a bolt with the washer. And you'll see how I placed them for maximum strength on this application. Now I've got my deck screws in just temporarily. And I'm going to take them out one at a time 
and put the screws, nut and bolt in each one. This spot here, I'm going to put in the two and a half inch because I've got three inches of deck boards here in the gate I built. This spot here, I'm going to put the nut and bolt. This spot here, the bolt and nut. And then this one, the same thing. Just the timber lock screw. Now this is a quarter inch bolt and I want a tight fit so it really grabs so I'm going to use a drill bit that's just a little smaller than quarter inch so I'll have to pound it in with these big heavy gates give it extra strength It's just a matter of putting the washer on. The nut. And tighten it down. Now with this top one, I'm going to put the six inch in here and I think I'm going to angle it so I actually go into the meat of the post instead of just this dressing that I have, this uh, two by ten and two by sixes on the side. So I'll do that for this one and this one just on the top hinge. And then for those center ones, again I'll just use these two and a half inch. Again, doing them one at a time so everything stays just as it is and this little hex head comes with the screws just pushes in the impact driver Just let the let the tool do the work. I set my gate up so that I have to lift it just a eighth of an inch so it rests on that block which takes the load off the hinges 
and lets the gate rest when it's closed. To open it, I just have to lift a little bit and it comes right open. But I like it sitting on that pad instead of stressing the hinges all the time. Now one last thing that I need to do is put a stop in. That's this piece here. So that the gate has something to close to. See that? And then it's all lined up on the outside. So we'll do that on the other side. Just a matter of cutting this two by four and screwing it in. I'm looking at the outside of the gate to make sure it's lined up. There she is, all complete. I use the same process to build these windows and the same hinges actually. And it works very well. They're great. For my gates, I chose a hook and eye latch, which works great for me. It's simple, but there are many choices that you can get at any local hardware store. On the barn windows that I built, I also used the hook and eye latch, one at the top and one at the bottom. That's how you hang a gate or a barn door or a shed door. And if you want to see how I built this gate, click on the link. If this video was a help to you, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I look forward to helping you with other projects online.